Hey, this is MJ and today we're going to be working on these cute little pumpkins for fall. I've made them to decorate the house for Thanksgiving. This is a really quick and easy bulky pattern. So what I'm going to be showing you is how to make them with this Wool Ease Thick and Quick by Lion Brand Yarns. Okay, so you're going to need an 8mm crochet hook, and I'm using my Brittany hook. You're going to want a cinnamon stick, or you can use a little uh, broken piece of a stick, whatever really you want to use as your stem. And then I just have some twine. And you're also going to need some stuffing for your pumpkin, so I'm just using some polyester fiber fill. So I have two different sized pumpkins. For this pumpkin, I made a chain of uh, 22. And for this pumpkin, I made a chain of 16. So depending on the size you want, as you can see, the size in my hand, this size pumpkin, or this size pumpkin. So I'm gonna make the smaller size. So we'll begin by making a slip knot, put that on your hook, and we will chain 16. One, okay, so now we're going to work half double crochets. So in the third chain from the hook, so one, two, three, we'll do a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into that third chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And into the next chain, yarn over, go through the chain, pull up a loop. So now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go through the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're just going to continue with that half double crochet stitches all the way along our chain. So I don't count my starting chain as a stitch throughout this pattern. So we'll have 14 stitches in total and that's what we'll be working with. So I've worked into my last chain so now we'll turn and chain two. So this chain two does not count as a stitch and now what we're going to do is work into the third loop of the half double crochet. So if you turn your work, you can see our V stitch is right here. We're not going to work in any of these stitches. We're going to work into this loop that's underneath the stitch. And you can see that stitch as you go along. So what I'm going to do is I want to put my hook down through and grab that loop, okay? First you wanna yarn over. So I'm just gonna stick it through, kind of feel for that loop. Pull up my yarn, so now I have three on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, and then the next one we yarn over and if you really want to pull, like just turn your work over, you can kind of see right here, this is the loop. 
So now what that's going to do is this row of stitches, it's going to push them all here to the front. So this now is our right side of our work. So our row two is the right side and it's pushing all of those stitches. So yarn over, working into that third loop under the stitch. So however you find it easier, I feel that <clears throat> I feel with my fingers as I go and I just kind of push my hook under the stitch, turn it so that I'm under that loop, pull up and go through. And once you kind of get the hang of it, it will go fairly quickly. You can see I push under the stitch, make sure to kind of loop through grabbing the yarn. And we'll continue. And so you want to have 14 stitches when we complete this. Through, which is okay. So now if you want to count your stitches, so we're not counting the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then turn and chain two. Okay, so now again if you turn you can see our stitches. They're right up here can see the V of the stitch and here now is our third loop and now we're on to the wrong side and we want again that's those stitches to push forward to get that nice ridging so we're working again through the third loop but we're working kind of on it on this side now so if you yarn over you just go through it so some can confuse that with the front loop only, but it's actually not. This is the front loop only. This is still your third loop, which is under the stitch. It's just as our work has kind of pulled and turned, it's just popping out a little bit more. And we'll just continue to work half double crochets, but we're working them into this loop. So this row is pretty easy to work because this loop is really easy just to grab and work into. So I'm just going to continue working this row and I'll meet you back. Okay, so in total I've worked up 19 rows, okay? So an odd number, and if you count your groups of two ridges, there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And this is our 19th row here. And if you measure your rectangle, it should be about six inches by 10 inches. So if you're experimenting with uh, different weights of yarn and hooks, you, you want it to be about six by 10, okay? <clears throat> okay, so with right sides facing, we're gonna slip stitch our pumpkin together. Pull this back. So chain one, fold, and now because we've ended on an odd number, I'm 
going to just slip stitch over to join those so that I can start working from this side. So you just want to push through the first stitch and then the first stitch here. Grab your yarn, pull it through. Okay, go through the next stitch and the next stitch. Grab your yarn and pull it through. You just want to make sure not to do it too tight. You just don't want to distort the shape. So we're just going to slip stitch the sides together. And we're just getting up to the corner. Go through the last stitch. And then we're just going to chain one to secure it and then you can flip it. Like this. Okay, so now we're going to want to fasten off leaving a long tail. Just want to make sure you have lots so we don't run out. grab a needle with a large head on it for bulky yarn and now we're just gonna sew we want to pull this tight so just go through I'm just gonna go through the sort of these bulkier pieces but just skipping over and all this is going to do is a quick way to pull the base of the pumpkin together. So we've worked all the way, so now we're just going to pull it, see how easy that is. And then you just want to weave through and you can just go back in the opposite direction. Okay. Now you just want to weave this tail in. Um, I'm just going to show you another way to close off the pumpkin. I think I do prefer this method, especially for the larger size pumpkins. So we're going to single crochet around. Okay, but you're going to want to skip. I'm going to work into these bulkier pieces. Okay, so just go in. And then skip over to the next one that kind of pops up. And so that's going to help to pull this in before we sew. So it's just kind of grabbing every other row here. 
<clears throat> because this is your chain. And we just keep working all the way around. Okay, so we're back to the start here. And then we'll just slip stitch to join. And fasten off with a long tail. Okay, so now we'll grab our needle and to pull this closed work through the front loops only push your needle up through you can do two at a time Now you can pull that closed. So this will be the bottom of your pumpkin. So I think that closes up a little bit better than the other method. But either way, they both work. And then just take your yarn needle and you want to thread it through. And then you go back in the opposite direction. Just make sure that you secure it well. You don't want your pumpkin coming undone. Okay, so our next step is to stuff the pumpkin. I'm going to add some more stuffing. Okay, and I'm gonna just put my needle back on my tail and then I'm gonna push this up through the pumpkin. Okay. And now we're, we'll do the same thing we did to the other side is we just want to see sew around the pumpkin to pull it all together. Okay, and then you just pull it, and it's going to pull your pumpkin together. Okay, 
And you want to make sure that you leave your hole big enough to fit in. Okay, so what I like to do just when I get the hole the size that I want it, you just want to thread your needle through and then go back in the opposite direction and going back in the opposite direction will secure it. And then I'm just going to remove that. You can play around with your pumpkin. So next, to kind of give it a little bit more definition, you can then go taking your tail I'm just going to go back here again just to make sure that hole doesn't move. So for our pumpkin to get a little bit more definition, you can just Go here and then go through your hole, coming back up through this hole. And you can put your, if you really want to hide that, you could go right between your ridge pieces. And then just go to the other side Go through the bottom, back, and poke your and then just pull. And you can do that as many times as you want. So I've just done the four times and now I'm just going to secure that by knotting it, pulling through. So I have lots of extra yarn here little more than I needed but better to have too much than too little and then I'm just gonna weave my end and then I can stick in my cinnamon stick so once you've weaved all of your ends you can stick in your cinnamon stick Take some of your twine and there you go, a sweet little pumpkin for Thanksgiving.